Welcome back. This video is going to be about the ranks in Air Cadets. We will be going over all the ranks, how to properly pay compliments, and how you too can achieve a higher rank. When you join Air Cadets, you immediately assume the rank of Air Cadet, or AC for short. There's no insignia or badge for this rank. The rank slip-on for an AC is a blank cadet rank slip-on. As seen in this picture, all cadet rank slip-ons are made of blue fabric and have the word cadet embroidered in white at the bottom. The first promotion an air cadet will achieve is leading air cadet, or LAC. You need to have at least 5 months of experience and a recommendation from your commanding officer. The insignia for this rank is a propeller. Cadets will receive a propeller badge to be sewn onto the tunic and rank slip-ons that also have a propeller. After successfully completing proficiency level 1 and completing 6 months as an LAC, a leading air cadet can be promoted to a corporal. The insignia has two chevrons, actually inverted chevrons that look like a V. Cadets will receive two badges to place on each sleeve as well as two slip-ons. After being a corporal for six months or more and completing proficiency level two, a cadet may be promoted to a flight corporal. The insignia is two chevrons like a V with a crown on top. Flight corporal is the first non-commissioned officer or NCO rank. Flight corporals along with sergeants are called junior NCOs. The next rank is sergeant, represented by three chevrons. In order to be eligible for this rank, a cadet must have completed proficiency level 3 and at least 6 months of service at the rank of flight corporal. Like the other ranks, a cadet may be promoted to flight sergeant when they complete another 6 months of service and proficiency level 4. Candidates must have also completed their leadership training with the rating of completed without difficulty. Three chevrons and a crown are the insignia for this rank. Starting at the rank of flight sergeant, cadets are considered to be senior NCOs. A cadet must be recommended for the promotion to warrant officer second class by their CO. In addition to the recommendation, they must pass a merit review board interview and have completed the leadership training with the rating of completed without difficulty. Their insignia is a crown in a wreath of maple leaves. Warrant Officer First Class is the highest rank a cadet may achieve, and there is only one per squadron. This insignia is the Canadian Coat of Arms. A cadet must be recommended for the promotion to Warrant Officer First Class by their CO and be identified as a suitable candidate by a Merit Review Board. You might remember at the beginning of this video, I mentioned paying compliments. This is the proper way to address another cadet and can change with the rank. When addressing these ranks, other cadets should politely use their rank and surname. When a cadet is talking to a cadet of a high rank, any answer to a request is ended respectfully by the higher cadet's rank. For example, Yes, Sergeant. When passing or addressing these ranks, the lower rank cadet must pay compliments. For flight corporals, sergeants, and flight sergeants, the cadet paying the compliment comes to attention, calls the rank of the cadet, and continues on their way. In a group of cadets, the most senior cadet pays the compliment while the rest remain at attention. When passing a Warrant Officer 2nd Class and a Warrant Officer 1st Class, the rank is not called. The Warrant Officer is instead addressed by their gender, such as Sir or Ma'am. If the Warrant Officer needs to be addressed, the cadets can use the rank and surname. Thank you for watching, and make sure if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them.